Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Happy Friday night. Happy Friday night. Okay, 10.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My time of living because I'm in the hottest, hot Atlanta is what they call us, Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. All right. But I want to thank everybody who get down in them comments and have interactions with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Yes. Thank you for my subscribers that are on the fence and don't know if they want to come on over to the light. Yes. And those that just don't want to come over, they hate me. They, they don't care nothing about me. And they let me know before they leave the video. Okay. Thank you, too. Okay. Kalisha tried me. You saw what I uh, get down like, and that's cool anyway. But I want future people like-minded or maybe not like-minded. You just like be over here in the camp, okay? That's the Dev Chanel's 4 Days World Camp, all right? Well, we get down and dirty sometimes, and sometimes we stay soft and sweet when we have to be. Okay, yes, all right? But that's all we got for the introductions. Remember, I like it. When you subscribe, 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 and you like and share, you like and share, you subscribe, 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 and you like and share, and you like and share, okay? But we going on with CNN, you know, they call them fake news, but here they really call all the news stations that's reporting in each and every city and state. Local news, okay, they call them fake news, but that's what something, you know, the president talked about, he said they fake news, so we're going to go with that since he said it. I kind of agree with it. We moving on, all right? However, in the entertainment world, yes, we're going to give you the who, how, when, what, and why of the celebrity realm of living. Okay, how they get down in their world. Because, see, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a paycheck to paycheck type worker. Okay, I try to say some coins, and I have to say coins because they ain't always dollars. All right, they ain't always dollars. But it adds up to a dollar or two once I get finished saving them, okay? But I'm an everyday individual trying to make ends meet from one place to the next, okay? And sometimes it's a struggle. You know, like I'm back in the good time days, all right? But we're going to move on from that as well because we can't tarry too long, okay? With outside commentary, they ain't got nothing to do with what I'm trying to report to, okay? All right, moving on. We have the story, yes. We have this story about these two women who call themselves moms, but they really only thinking about themselves, okay? We talking about mothers who didn't have enough sense, intelligence, and cooth about themselves to say, my kids are smart. They going to learn, and if they can't learn, we're going to find out why they can't learn, and we're going to get them tutors because we can afford it. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. We're going to get them tutors to get in this college of choice that we want them to be in, okay? Or maybe we'll lean to understand what college they want to be in. But we ain't going to do this thing. We ain't going to do this thing where we're going to pay so they can play, <laughs> okay, in the college days. No, nah, we don't know what we do. We don't know what we do, okay? But these two women, they saw fit. They saw people maybe going to talk about them because their children did not come from a well-established, well-known in the community, in the nation type of college. They didn't have faith in their children that they could get into a good college and sustain uh, the learning and the environment on their own, on their own method or merit, I should say. No, they said, uh-uh, I don't think my kids that's smart enough. Well, they, they, I got some dumb kids, you know what I'm saying? They need all the help they can get. But instead of you getting a tutor for them, you paid off people. And you got fine and sentence today. At least one of them did, honey. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Felicity Huffman. Yes, I know y'all remember her. From the Desperate Housewives crew. You know, it was a cute little sitcom. I had got into it for a couple of, you know, uh, seasons. But, I, you know, I, I fell off. I, I fell off. I'm like a person in the community living in a subdivision. That ain't far-fetched. That can happen. And everybody running around here doing all these despic despicable type of acts. 
and having a bad demeanor to boot with it. Okay, so I'm like, greed, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. Greed, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. If I knock somebody off, okay, so be it, because I still want my livelihood to be the same. You know, I couldn't get with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It took its toll on me, and I wanted to rise above just a little bit of the pettiness and the mindless drama. So I had to put them to rest and move on to something else, okay? I think I picked up reading books at that time. But anyway, moving on from that situation, I'm talking about, hey, Felicity Huffman, y'all, got sentenced to prison. We're going to talk about that. Well, I'm about to get my spiel from Lauren Hill. How you going to win if you ain't right within? How you going to win if you ain't right within? How you going to win if you ain't right within? Uh-uh, uh, come again. Uh-uh, uh, come again. Uh-uh, uh, come again. Doom, doom, doom. Yes. Doom, doom, doom. doom, doom. Fellas, you better watch out. Them girls, those women are only about that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing. That thing. Yes, honey. Fellas, husbands of those two. I'm going to talk about her later, but we really on Felicity Huffs. What do we call it? Felicity Huff. Huffman, because she got sentenced today for her misdeeds, her misthoughts, and her bad assumptions that her own kids couldn't get in college. She had no faith in them or in herself, so she had to pay to play, okay? She had to pay to play. That's what I said, and they always said, old adage, for the love of money, okay? You will steal from your brother, for the love of money. You will rob your own mother. People don't let money, hey, don't let money change you. Oh, my dollar. Okay, y'all know what I'm going with Y'all know what I'm going with that, girl. I'm old school. I stay up. Okay, keep up. If you can't, keep in. Keep up, okay? Because I drop down wisdoms of nuggets sometimes. But we're going to go on and get in this story. Hey, I went and had lunch with CNN today. They ain't coming to me because CNN don't come to nobody, okay? They put it out. You got to come to them for reference on what's going on. So I went over there to their camp this afternoon. Okay. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hey, I think it's true. Okay. But then again, it may not be true what I'm dropping down. Y'all investigate it. Okay. Y'all go on and investigate it for yourself. I'm just putting it out on my platform for you all to take part of. Okay? I know you're busy. You can't catch up with the mundane things or other people's lives, other people's situations. So that's why I'm here to fill in that gap. Okay. From my perspective as a 51 year old mother, entrepreneur, working for the man. And it's a lot of life experiences, okay? But let's get on into this article. Uh, a guy by the name of Fernando Afonso. Damn, Fernando Afonso the third wrote this. Girl, what did they mom try to do? Rhyme? Rhyme with the meaning of time. Okay, I got it. But Mr. Fernando Afonso the third and Veronica Rocha. Oh, they share. They team tagged this story, y'all. Veronica Rocha. Okay, from CNN, they're correspondents, journalists, okay, their employer CNN, they cut this story for them, and it's titled Felicity Huffman Sentenced to Prison. Okay, and I'm like, is this an upscale type prison or this in general population prison? Okay, I don't want to know, because I don't think so. I don't think so. I think she's going to a plush place, but it ain't but for 14 days, okay, 14 days versus some, you know, person that's not known, just an everyday blow Jill out there trying to make ends meet. You know what I'm saying? She might get a whole different another type of set of circumstances put on her. And I'm pretty sure it ain't going to be in no range of no 14 days and then some community service and probation. Okay? Now, nah, baby, we're going to give you about five to seven years. Okay? In hard population. Okay? Not jail, prison. Alright? And we're going to put you out there with the general population. Alright? That's for normal folks. But see, when you get money, and they got money, y'all. They got money. Okay? They got money for long days, not short days like some people. <laughs> okay? I want them short day people. Okay? But anyway, the title is given Felicity Huffman sentenced to prison. All right. It says Felicity Huffman, the former Desperate Housewives actress, was sentenced to 14 days in prison for her role in the college admissions scandal. 
She must report to prison on October 25th. Lord, they taking her before. What? Halloween. They taking her out. I mean, like, uh-uh, she needs to be there over the holiday. Let's pick Thanksgiving, okay? We're going to take her from her family, her friends, and all of that. So she can think about what she did, okay? Because it could have been much worse. But since she got power, she, she has a circle of friends that's probably in the little elite sector. And they say, okay, we're going to do a little prison time, okay? About two weeks. Can you think you had to, you know, can you just visualize and put in your mind you're going to be away at summer camp or something to that degree? Because you got to go away. We got to make a little example of you. And it's only for 14 days. Okay. Anyway, going back, when in that article, it stopped that prison time being, uh, she has to be there on October 25th. That other part of my fly ball. Going back to the article, it said she also got probation. Husband will have to serve one year probation, perform 250 hours of community service. And pay a $30,000 fine. I'm like, uh-uh. See, the fine would have been something like, uh, 500000 or maybe a million. Since so she paid, so, you know, she had to pay to play, okay? We would have up that ante. Say, nah, I want one million from you. We're going to put it to a charity, okay? A good charity of the court's choosing, okay? And then, for us, them 250 hours, we're going to give you, no, triple that, okay? And then we're going to give you five to seven years probation. We don't want you to ever think about doing an infraction like this again, having your kids out there looking like they crazy. Because kids, that's what they do. I don't care if they're 18, they're still children, all right? Unless they have done, what do you call it, emancipated from their parents and got on and had to do this thing, work since they were 16 and make a way for themselves, then they grown in my eyes. If they have to emancipate from their parents, whether they got, uh, they're coming from uh, rich families or poor families or middle class, okay? I don't think it's the middle class out there. I think it's the have and have nights, right? No, it ain't even quite there yet. Because you can still have money, but not that deep kind of money, okay? You might have short money. But it's coming to a time where it's going to be the have and have nots. But right now, we still got somewhat of the middle class is, is disappearing real fast. It's coming to the uh, lower income people and the high ranking income people. That's what I'm seeing right now. Okay. That's my perspective. All right. How I'm seeing and living life. But anyway, yeah. Um, then you got it saying. Uh, what Huffman said, she apologized to the judge, her daughters and husband, after William H. Macy. I am deeply ashamed of what I have done, she told the judge. Okay, we'll pull out a million dollars, okay? Pull out a million dollars, not $30 fine, million dollar fine, okay? Then I might feel your tears, okay? I might feel your tears and have you take a piece of this Kleenex and dry them off because you got to go. You ain't going for 14 days. I could sentence you to 14 months. Or better yet, how about 14 years? Them the two I'm thinking about. Which one you want? Which one you want now? Because you out there shading yourself and your children, making both of y'all look stupid, but basically the kids. But basically, as a mother, you were saying, I don't believe in you. I don't think you're capable of uh, attaining a college degree by yourself. But instead of you doing your due diligence and getting tutors across the board, I mean tutors in math, tutors in English, Spanish, history, all that, so they can ace them tests, that they are so biased anyway. All right, I don't even understand why you have to take a test. Hey, I just gone into the school, take the course itself, and then let it determine whether you sink or fail. I always hated them entry exam tests. Then they have a nerd to have an exit exam test. Like, who you fooling, people? It's all about the money. All about the money. They don't care if you succeed or not. They're just an institutional gimme, gimme, gimme. An institutional greed, but they call it education. All right, but I'm just going to go on. I can't tarry too long. All right, going back to charges. Huffman pleaded guilty in May, okay, to conspiring to pay 15000 to a fake charity that facilitated cheating when her daughter took the SAT. See what I'm saying? The way them folks said I want to know about this little charity, this little nonprofit going around him saying they are uh, an organization, nonprofit, and they uh getting money uh sold up to help people in need. But the charity really never exists. Yeah, it's like line my pockets, continue to line my pockets, because that's the American way. That's how we get by. Forget hard work, forget uh perseverance, 
Forget dedication and loyalty. Forget all that. It's about the money. How you can get it to me before the next contestant pop in and want to do better. Okay. With better money, better time frames, and better outcome for me. All right. But anyway, going back. You know, uh, it says Felicity Huffman, Huffman left court holding hands with her husband after William H. Mason after her sentencing. She did not make any remarks. Huffman must report to prison on October 25th to serve her sentence. During today's court proceedings, uh, it just reiterate, uh, reiterate that she has to pay a $30,000 $30, fine, 250 hours of community service, and one year probation. Okay. Talking about she, she talking about there was no justification for her actions. Okay, well, since you realizing that because your hand got stuck in the cookie jar, you couldn't pull it out quick enough before somebody saw you and slammed your hand in the can. Okay, slam your hand in the can. Do you understand now? Do you understand what you did? Do you understand the infractions you made? Okay, cheat and scandal. All right, and it's always, always done. In the dog, okay, but don't it come to light, Lord? Don't it come to light? All right, so for other people who have the same track of mind of thinking, don't do it, don't pass go, don't do it, don't do it. Because if you ain't got no money out there, you don't know a large circle of friends that have deep money in pockets. Believe me, you're gonna get a far worse sentence than what this woman got, all right. And I guess we could, uh. We can expect the same thing to come along when they sentence. Um, uh, that they, they lady name lost and she played on um uh, step by step. No, it wasn't step by step. I don't hear off got what it was. I don't got what her damn what was her name? I think her last Lord is it Lauren Lofton? Y'all know who I'm talking about. She, it, they, it was the woman, I mean the man, his wife had died and he had three girls he was raising by himself and two um well, I think one of them was his brother, Danny, and um, hell yeah, I can't. Full House, that's what it's called. Full House, yes. Uh, Y'all know the one that was married to the rock star or thought he was a rock star. Her, can't think of her name to say my, but I think Laughlin is her name. But okay, y'all fact check me if y'all really care about this story or not, because I can't carry no more on this story. I just want to let you know, hey, believe in your kids. Hey, believe in yourself. Okay, just because you were stupid and dumb or whatever, that's what you felt about yourself. You felt you couldn't do no better. Damn, give your children uh, the chance to make their own mistakes and, and, and do your dil due diligence to make sure people are out there that can teach them better than their school system, okay? But don't try to fraud the government, because that's what you pretty much did. You defrauded the government in my eyes, and your sentence should have been a lot more harsher, okay? But uh, maybe your kids will think twice uh, about doing the same look uh, situation, so they won't be in it. But they got a life sentence, too, because they can already be known as the kids. Always be known as the kids that parents had to pay so they can play, okay? So they can play, learn, exercise in school of their choosing, okay? And don't really have to do any work. It's bought and paid for, okay? Bought and paid for, but them children ain't learning shit, okay? But that's just the way of the world. It ain't about learning no more. It's who you know, how much you can do for them and what you're going to do for them to be able to play in their playground. Okay? And that's the world. But that's all I have for this story. Hopefully, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed the commentary, my little spin, or how I got down on it. Okay? But it is a, a serious situation, and we as adults must know to heed uh, with caution on certain things that look good, that, you know how they say, it, everything that glitter ain't gold, it's that um, silver and gold mixed up plated. <laughs> type of thing you're going to be partaking of. But like I said, uh, yeah, that's her name, Lori Laughlin. Okay, I just thought about it. She's going to probably be facing the same thing because she floated in the same circle of friends and have, you know, husband that really got deep pockets and all that. But she'll probably get the same fine because you can't really discriminate uh, between the two of them because they both knew they both had infractions or where they paid off somebody so their children can get into the school system, the college system. Okay. Uh, so it probably won't be too much more than her, maybe a day or two. Who knows? Okay. But anyway, that's all I have. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, before I go, remember to subscribe, 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 like, share, subscribe, 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 like, share, chicka, chicka, chicka. See how I mix that on, y'all? <laughs> Blessings. Bye-bye.